Uh, hey, what's up people? So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple application for Android uh, Whether it's a tablet or a phone using Java and Eclipse uh, By the way, I only started making Android applications a week ago. I knew nothing about Android I was only good at making normal Java applications so relaxed, it's not a big deal, especially if you know some basic Java language. So first I downloaded this package, it's the best way of getting Android for Eclipse fast. Uh, you'll find a link to it down in the description under my video. Um, this package contains Eclipse and Android's ADTs and SDKs, just follow the steps on the website and everything will be okay. Uh, after that you open your uh, new version of Eclipse which, in the, which is in the package you've just downloaded I uh, choose a working space click OK so after Eclipse starts we choose file new and Android application project after that we choose a name for the application I'll say like hello here and the minimum required SDK, make sure you don't choose something that is very high which is something in the middle here yeah, for example 4 make sure that the uh, create activity is ticked choose next here you choose the uh, the shape of the icon which runs your application I'll go ahead with the default make sure that the create activity is ticked choose next and then finish Now, if you look on the left here, you'll see the uh, folder that we just created in the source file. Uh, this is the uh, Java file, which we will use in running in the application. And here is the uh, .xml file, which we will use in drawing the layout and buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so first here, Android created us a simple application. It says just hello world. Uh, we will go to the .java file and we are going to run that to see it on the simulator. Choose run at run configurations. Uh, make sure that the project is selected and choose run. Uh, and you can follow it here on the console. It will take like a 7 to 10 minutes for it to run on the emulator. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back. So now after you see uh, installing hello.apk and success and starting activity, you can start the uh, the emulator, look at it, unlock it, and here you can see the default application that uh, Android has just created us. Um, now we go to the uh, XML file and we start editing this stuff. I'm gonna delete this hello world. Uh, first thing is uh, when you design the uh, interface is choosing a, um, a good layout. I prefer the uh, relative layout which is already uh, here as default because uh, this helps you when you uh, change the view from portrait to landscape things doesn't mess around everything is it's and the proper location uh, so let's add like a title to our application choose the uh, large text here uh, we drag and drop when we do that we have uh, like a red warning here we double click on it we choose fix we will have two fields here the first one is what we want to uh, appear on the screen which is title title and here we write a reference for it I'll say like title underscore fix this this doesn't just don't bother about it now uh, click OK then control s the error is gone uh, if you want to make it like a little bit bigger because here we have like four different fonts you can just click on it and move down here to text size uh, choose like the dps let's 
say 16 that's too big okay fine and then we want to add like two text fields one for as an input and one as an output pick one here uh, here we it's gonna tell us to uh, specify the uh, type of input and we choose here text um, we go to the layout again we add another and we fix it choose text go back to the layout control s for the uh, error to disappear uh, we want now a button where is it uh, uh, it was here we put a normal button here fix it here is its name like uh, click click me and here click me fix hit ok control s uh, we're gonna add an image button too here and we can make it like the IC launcher here you can change that there are many images to choose from and fix that too the layout we name it uh, click to yes. click to underscore fix okay So it actually was a bug. It's a bug because when I when I moved that, it uh, the error is gone. So sometimes that happens. So just don't bother yourself with it. It's okay. Uh, now I'm gonna I wanna like enter here my name, and when I say when I click click me, it brings me a pop up and says like hi Mina, and if I click that, it's it puts the uh, hi Mina here not as a pop-up so now we're saving this and we're going to the main activity Java to start the uh, programming part uh, we will go to the uh, onCreate method make sure that we write below these lines because the first two lines here calls the layout uh, that's the first thing that has to be done so all our program will be written here uh, first we're gonna uh, identify the uh, the two text fields here and the two buttons so we're gonna say we like to edit text input and edit text output Click on that. Uh, change it to the proper way of writing that. Control S, and we have uh, on a edit text not extract it. Uh, and the buttons. and image I think I have wrote them before I don't remember exactly uh, there is an image button and there is a button ok so image button 2 and we import what the widgets control s 
now we're gonna have to put an act to put an action listener to the uh, to those two but first let me look here so I'm gonna copy that from a product that I did before so here we have input input we, we have to type cast everything that we write uh, so th here the input is an edit text a uh, find view by id uh, r dot id dot edit text uh, r is the the layout so something that is in the layout we we uh, we retrieve it by its id and its id is edit text one how do we know that if we open the uh, here click like that here it's edit text one oh, that's an error that one does because i copied from a different class i'm gonna remove this Uh, we'll do the same for the other one. Just copy that, paste, say output. And we're gonna um, define the buttons. I did create a button before. Yeah. So we're gonna say one equals uh, actually one is the button and the other one is the uh, image button save um deleted this now we have to create the uh, action listener the buttons take this method example that one Here we'll write the name of the button, which is one. Ah, uh, we open uh, curly brackets, and we close this because we was opened here. Click on that. Add an implemented method, which is the uh, on click. nothing won't matter and we say if v equals equals one we do something and we copy that and do it the same for the other button it's, it's gonna be two V equals to do something. Okay. So if we click on the first button, we want a pop up to show. How we're how we're gonna do this? As it's called a toast. Okay. Just copy that and play with it. Here we write the message that one that we want. And we'll say like hi 
Hina. And the duration is short. We want it to be long. Call it toast. And we want it to show. So we we'll write toast dot show. For the other button, we want the text field actually to change. So we will write uh, we get edit text the output here. Copy it. See it output dot set text. to Hina okay now we're ready to test the application that we just did for the input we just uh, if we want to like write something and put it here in the message we uh, it's easy it's like Java we say uh, uh, input dot get uh, text and we retrieve the text from the uh, and don't forget it got dot text dot to string uh, and then we can save it to a variable now we let's run this and see what we will find so after the emulator runs now we can see the uh, interface that we created uh, these are the two buttons uh, we said that when I click this button the message pop-up will appear here that says hi Mina and when I re click this one uh, it will say hi Mina here so let's see if I click here there you go and if I click here there you go so guys that's it um, for today, I'll be uh, making another video uh, showing you how to uh, uh, change angles of text, make it like this or like this, and edit colors, and to put a background photo or picture for your application and change fonts, which are quite tricky here and it's not that simple. Uh, so don't forget to rate this video and subscribe if you haven't done already. And if you wanna end, if you want any help or you have any questions, just uh, put a comment down, and I'll come back to you. Okay? And I'll come back to you.